So it's been six months since Sony released their newest version of their high-end earbuds, the WF-1000 XM4s. And almost three years since they released their previous model, the XM3s, which had the best sound quality as well as the best noise cancelling at the time of their release. But in this short span of time, a lot has happened in the tech and especially earbud world. And now in 2021, Sony made a triumphant comeback with the XM4s. We will go over all the improvements they've made when compared to the previous models as well as seeing why these could have been the new standard in the earbud market. The Sony 1000 XM4s are smaller than their predecessors and come in white and black. I ordered the black edition that sports some nice looking golden accents on top. The shape compared to the XM3s has been reworked tenfold and now looks and feels more like earbuds and less like those hands free phone headsets from the early 2000s. But the real difference in design has been made in the size of the case. It has been shrunk significantly and now only sports one charging status LED on the front. It feels way nicer in your pockets and you can actually feel the difference. Not only has the material changed, but also the click has gotten better and people who view my earbud reviews regularly know that a good experience always begins with a click. Now the earbuds on the other side have gotten a major upgrade as well, which is not only the IPX4 water seal rating that now lets you use them in light rain showers, but also the tips have been improved slightly and now use some kind of memory foam silicon hybrid that just fits and seals your ears completely. Speaking of sealing, the 1000 XM4s have the best noise cancelling I've ever used. And I'm not only talking earbud noise cancelling, I'm actually talking all the headphones. They are much better in killing noises than my Sony XB900Ns, sometimes they are even scarily good. As an example, I overheard my cleaning robot and just gotten aware of it when it touched my foot while I was staring into my MacBook working on the next video. I also took them on my recent trip to the Netherlands and they performed exceptionally good in hiding the fan noises as well as screaming kids inside an airplane. But I guess they could not hinder the passengers behind you to stare straight into your camera. The thing is, with such good noise cancelling in such a tiny device, everything around you actually goes poof. This, and I'm not joking here, can actually get really dangerous. Not getting all the noises from oncoming cars, trains or even people. These are so good that they are the first earbuds that I have to give out a warning while walking. You need to really pay attention to your surroundings while wearing the XM4s, using active noise cancelling and blasting some music through your ear canals. Or you use Sony's hold the left earbud for a few moments to lower your music volume and amp up the ambient sound mode to deliver outside noises directly into your ear canal. Speaking of music, the sound quality coming from the 6mm drivers is pretty good and it has the signature Sony sound tuning that I'm used to from the XM3s. Overall it's a warm, rich sound with a clear but powerful bass that lends itself well to almost all the popular music genres out there. They are better than the AirPods 3 and the Pros in terms of sound quality, but until Sony decides to adapt the same technology to fit their sound to your specific ear canals, the Nura Truce, in my opinion, still reign as the best sound earbuds of 2021. But when it comes to sound quality, not only what comes out is important, so what goes in is a thing of beauty. Here is a test example of the microphones on the Sony 1000 XM4s. <clears throat> and now, ladies and gentlemen, here is why Sony's newest earbuds are worth the initial cost of 280 euros. 8 hours of battery life on a single charge, with active noise cancelling turned on. Wow! And how? From a technical standpoint, this is very impressive, if not even class leading performance. You can actually use them for a full day of work with ANC turned on, then you pop them into the case for 5 more minutes and get another 60 minutes for your commute home. The case gives you another two complete charges, which brings you to 24 hours with ANC turned on in total. And if you don't need ANC, you can get 12 hours of runtime out of the earbuds on a single charge. 12 hours! That's double the runtime of the AirPods 3. That's impressive. Oh, and of course, the case charges both wirelessly and via USB-C. 
Now let's get back to an aspect of design that I feel Sony hasn't conquered yet. The buds themselves are still well, let's say on the larger side. And even though they tend to sit well inside your ears, bigger butts always tend to generate the feeling of actually falling out. I lost one of them once while wearing them on the plane, but that could be just a coincidence. Other than that, they are quite noticeable in your ears, which bigger butts have as a downside, but they are still very comfortable and I had no problems with actually wearing them for two hours straight. The touch functionality, on the other hand, is working flawlessly as expected, registering every move and touch that I've made instantly without an error. But there are still more negatives that I have with the buds. First and foremost, this comes down to me being used to having earbuds that can actually connect to two devices at the same time, especially while working in a Mac environment. I really cannot understand why Sony hasn't integrated that specific feature into their 2021 premium 280 euros earbuds. Since the new AirPods 3 and Jabra all have this feature in their earbuds, I am really shocked to see Sony not integrating it. And then there is another problem that occurred frequently while wearing the buds for longer sessions randomly, not every day, but noticeably often every hour or so, the noise cancelling disconnected for a second or two and then reconnected. This could come down to either being a hardware or a software issue and I'm not sure if this is just with my unit since I haven't heard from other reviewers mentioning this exact problem. Overall I feel these are problems that should be mentioned. Since you as the viewer of this video are probably thinking about mm, maybe buying them. They are small errors that aren't game breaking at all due to them having the superior sound and ANC and battery life. But still it stings you a bit when shelling out that much money for earbuds. So my verdict on the Sony WF-1000 XM4s is the following. These are the best noise cancelling set of earbuds you can get right now. Using the latest available technology, Sony ranks as the best in two categories, namely ANC and battery life. It's among the best when it comes to sound quality and is actually okay in every category. There are other competitors in the market that have specific things they are as good as or better than XM4s. Force. But if you are willing to spend the money Sony claims for the new flagship earbuds, you can be assured you get the best overall package in exchange. Sony made a triumphant return claiming its leadership of the earbud market. The only question remaining now is who is able to dethrone them and how soon is this going to happen? Thank you very much for watching. My name is Leech and I'm off writing the next scripts. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. There are plenty more of this type of content and many other things available for you to watch. Have a great day. See you around and goodbye.